Hey there, James McAllister here. I'm an entrepreneur who aims to help you get more profit out of your business and more fulfillment out of your life. Today I want to tell you about, well, a few things, but the main one that's concerning to me and should be concerning to you right now is goal setting, or rather, the lack of it. See, there seems to be an ever-increasing trend of people being content with being average, with being mediocre. I see this a lot on my course on blogging for profit, as well as my financial independence course. Oh, I'd be happy if my blogging income covered my rents, or I'd be happy living off $35,000 a year, they'll say. And now look, I'm not saying those are bad things. I mean, I know that even I could live on less than $35,000 a year. But why the heck would I want to, right? Just because they are great things does not mean they are great goals, and that's the problem. These people seek to be comfortable, they do not seek to be great. Setting a goal to be comfortable is an average person's way of thinking. That is aiming to be as mediocre as comfortably possible, and no more. And to be honest with you, not only is it pathetic, but you don't really want that man, don't delude yourself. Quit lying. You don't want to be comfortable, you want as much as you can get. You would much rather make $250,000 a year than 50. You'd prefer to buy 30 rental units a year rather than 5. You'd rather have 50,000 email subscribers than 500. So then the question becomes, why the heck are people setting their long-term goals so low for the absolute minimum? Think about it this way. Would you rather set a goal of having a net worth of $1 million and reach it, or set a goal of having $10 million and only end up with 5? Yeah, I thought so. Now look, I'm not saying don't set small goals. I do think it's important that your goals are realistic and that you're actually able to go after them. But whatever you think you can achieve, I want you to challenge yourself to aim higher. But it starts with deciding that you want to be great, and then having the belief that you will get there. If you don't set the bar higher than everyone else, you're going to end up just like everybody else. Broke, unhappy, and struggling to get by. It's not the kind of lifestyle you want to live, man, I'm telling you. I was in it growing up, and I continue to see it all around me. It's ugly, and it's sad. Now you may be still thinking, alright, yeah, but I'm getting by just fine now, so what? Really? Come on, man. You know you can do better, and it's not just a want, it's a need. You don't know what the future holds for you. You don't know if that job will be there. Automation, recessions, new laws and regulations, they could wipe out your speciality completely. If you are not doing something right now to create an extra income source, even if it's something as simple as throwing all of your extra money into the stock market, then you could very well be doomed and not even frickin' know it yet. Do you want to raise your family under such uncertainty? Come on, man, if you're not going to do it for you, do it for them, because they need you. So here's the deal, okay? Here's what I want you to do. Number one, quit settling for average. You do not want to be average. Whatever your goals are now, up them up. Set a goal to live up to your potential, and then continuously look to improve your potential. That's how you really get things done and become great. Number two, do something to increase your income that is completely separate from your job. And I'd even say if you're a business owner, create another income source from there. For example, using leftover profits and starting a real estate business or something. If you don't want to start a business, if you're working a salaried job, take my financial independence course and start putting your money to work for you. Number three, and this one's important, share this video with your friends. Do you imagine how much better our economy, our nation, our planet would be if everybody lifted themselves up and strived to be the best we can be? People need to hear these messages, folks, and that's why I share them and why I want you to share them too. You'd not only be doing me a favor, but you'd be doing your friends and you'd be doing the world a favor too. Let's make it happen. Anyway, I appreciate you listening. Again, my name is James McAllister, and you can find me over at helpstartmyside.com. Make the day great and I'll see you again soon.